In this video, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step framework on how to become a back-end developer, no matter where you're at in the process. We'll talk about things like college and courses and boot camps and programming languages, how to best use those no matter what you're working with. And since this is a community, if you're working currently in one of these positions, share some of your knowledge in the comments below. Which one of these steps did you take and what was most helpful to get you to your current position? Let's start with some backend development basics. First of all, what it is. There are three main types of developers. You'll get backend developers, front end developers, and something called full stack developers. What backend developers do in what's called client server architecture is application data is stored on the server side and served as output to the client side. The server side working of web applications is where the work of a backend developer takes place. Backend developers are responsible for creating code and making applications work the way that they're supposed to. As for the front end, they work hand in hand with backend developers, but focus on the design elements of a website or an application and how it looks to the consumer actually using that. Full stack developers are a hybrid of both the front and back end developers. They can do both functions. It's important to see the job market and expectations of someone in an entry level career in back end development. Let's look at a software engineer one or a junior level back end developer posting from Boxed. Boxed is a startup founded in 2013 that's sort of like an online Costco. They ship bulk items directly to you or your business and do it all without a membership fee. What you would be doing for them is working on a wide variety of projects that span order management to sales and conversion. In this posting, Box is looking for someone who has a degree in computer science or equivalent relevant work or bootcamp experience. They want someone with experience writing applications using JavaScript or TypeScript and has experience working with Git. Some of the soft skills in this job posting are good communication skills, excellent analytical and problem solving skills. This career, backend development, computer science as a whole, has become a bit of a hotspot for the demand and that has led to a rise in salaries and how much money you can make in these positions. Let's talk about how well compensated backend developers are for their work. In terms of salary, backend developers junior or entry level can expect to make nearly $75,000 at the start of their career. If this number sounds low, we're going on the cautious side and it depends on what type of market you're really starting off in and your qualifications. I went for the absolute lowest because that's what this video is catered towards. Notice the career progression in the field with the range of salaries quickly hitting the six figure mark by early mid career. If anything, if you rise quickly in the field and are a career lifelong learner, I would expect closer to the $150,000 mark by mid-career. And in case you are interested, our box.com job posting that we analyzed, doing some research in some self-reported salaries in the company, a software engineer too, so one level above the position that we're looking at, that is compensated in their company at about $140,000 a year, meaning I believe it's quite reasonable to assume entry level developers are making about 100 to 110 located in the New York market working at Boxed. So we've got a bunch of important and honestly, hopefully a little inspirational and cool information out of the way. Let's talk about the framework for getting you where you're at into one of these dream positions. There are four different tactics that I feel are the best way to get one of these jobs. It would be wrong for me not to start with attending college because even though it's trendy to say attending college isn't cool or college is a scam, attending college and getting one of these three degrees is going to accelerate your development into getting one of these positions. If college is right for you, I would target three majors, computer science, software engineering, or computer security. Now, I don't think you need to go to a top 50 school. What you're looking for is a good program with a track record. You are paying for college for mentors and people to work alongside you and part of that is a track record of them helping you achieve success early on in your career. Look at track records of programs you're considering. College gets a bad rap because the prices are so expensive. You can pay anywhere from twenty dollars to $40,000 from public to private schools a year for your education. However, in this career field, I'm not as stressed about that cost because of the salaries we just discussed. This is almost always a good investment and a positive return on your money. You've got to work hard and it's difficult, 
but that is on you and college will help you get there. However, this is not your only path to becoming a backend developer. There are three different ways that I'll talk about here that you can build your resume and progressions you can go through to give yourself a really good chance in an interview. Let's start with the basics. You've got to learn a programming language to get your foot going in this game. Start with JavaScript. Studies show it is the most popular language, having been so for the past 10 years, and approximately 65% of developers currently use it. After learning JavaScript, you may want to start with the basics of Python, Ruby, PHP, and other very common backend developer programming languages. Now, I'll recommend two options for you to actually make progress on this. One is going to be free. Keep in mind, I'm going to hit you with some great resources over the next few minutes in this video. I'm not affiliated with any of them, and they're in the description just to make your learning process easier. As for free programming resources, start with an introduction to JavaScript from Free Code Camp. That will give you a great foundation. If you're interested in something from the Mozilla Development Network, you can check out the JavaScript guide. Now, free resources are great, but they are free. Coding boot camps are an extremely popular way to get a more 360 view and honestly, better training for getting a job. They've exploded in popularity recently and this chart shows you how much they've grown. This only cuts off at 2019, but they've continued to grow up to the current year. There's a reason for that. They are more efficient than a four-year college degree and oftentimes at a fraction of the price. One that has extremely high reviews is New Camp. You'll include learning about data structures divided into three sections of the bootcamp, which actually will have a project at the very end of each, which gives you something tangible to take into interviews with you when you're done. That will cost $2,124. The next program is a whole different step up in preparing you to take a job. This is the Hack Reactor program, where you'll learn JavaScript and other computer science basics. It's going to cost you. At $17,980, Hack Reactor is unique though because it has an income sharing option, allowing you to pay a $100 deposit and only pay back the rest of the course once you achieve making $60,000 out on the other side in your career. Look and do the research to see if it's right for you, but it could be a good option depending on your situation. Once you've gotten all you can from online resources for free or potentially paying to go through a boot camp to get you up to speed, you're going to want to do step three, which is expanding your tutorials and taking them into real life, creating projects. This will not only teach you to think independently and put some of your skills into actual practice, but you're trying to get a job here and projects and experience and having proof of those are your best friends. This is obviously a big step. Moving from tutorials can be intimidating, but you can start small. You can build off of a project that you've already gotten a tutorial on how to create or start with an existing framework and build out Chrome extensions. If you're looking for something small and to get your feet wet, here are three cool suggestions for you to start developing into your own projects. First is building a drum kit on JavaScript. Here, you can build out a drum kit where different sounds are played based on the different keyboard buttons you press. It's fun, and it's a cool project using JavaScript. Try to build your own tic-tac-toe. Here are instructions on how to build a repeatable, bare-bones tic-tac-toe game that works using JavaScript. Finally, Free Code Camp offers the framework and mental thinking behind how to build an HTML calculator. You can hop on there and play around and Learn to think for yourself about building out a project. Once you work on these projects or others that you've got, store it online as different versions on sites like GitHub. This will allow you to show tangible progress as you've gone through your journey learning coding and will give you ammo to go into interviews with. Finally, a very underrated step, but one you shouldn't ignore is actually networking. Now, becoming a back-end developer doesn't seem like a field very dependent on networking, but becoming a successful back-end developer requires you to be in a successful community. And while you're working through these beginning stages, getting your foot in the door for that entry-level job, you're not gonna have a community environment to be in. You've got to work to create your own. Joining a community is going to put you in an environment where you're thinking about this constantly and honestly getting some refreshing perspectives and some help along the way.
Here are three great online communities that you can make yourself a part of for free today to put you in this type of environment. One would be GitHub, where you can spend time in the community forum, sharing ideas, reading about different discussion topics, really just getting your brain going. Two, Stack Overflow is an open community for anyone that codes. You get answers and help here for your toughest questions or even find a job learning from different people who already work in the industry. And another one to spark some creativity would be Hacker Noon. Hacker Noon is a tech and media site that might capture your attention and keep you interested on some of the most relevant topics in development today. Sometimes you need to get your head out of code and into the clouds and see things from a bigger perspective. This wraps up how to get your foot in the door, no matter what stage you're at to become a backend developer. Following some or all of these steps is going to move the ball forward for you. There's no doubt about that. Thank you for watching and have a great day.